Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're cooking some beef short ribs. Now I've never cooked a fifth rib of a beef short rib and I've heard amazing things that it's really, really tasty. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. So we've got a lovely 1.2 kilo Spanish fifth rib from Thomas Joseph Butchers. I'll leave a link for them in the description. These ribs are absolutely amazing. And when I show you the marbling, you are gonna be like, oh, Will, that looks incredible. So let's head on over to the bench and take a look. Okay, and here is my fifth rib. It's a bit of a monster, as you can see. Uh, I think it's just over a kilo's worth. So yeah, good size for a single rib. So let's get it out of the backpack. Okay, here it is out of the backpack. You can see we've got some really nice marbling on it both sides really nice marbling but we have got this bit of fat um, on the top here which is a bit of sort of silver skin so we just need to go ahead and remove that we're just going to uh, slice this away to reveal the meat okay all the fat removed on the top some more really nice marbling all the way through on the meat so now this is ready for seasoning so we're just going to grab a little bit of uh, French cheese mustard just to go over the top. I'm just going to spread that all the way over, and this is literally just going to be a binder for the rub as it's not very wet. Okay, and today we're using uh, Hardcore Carnival Black. Not used this yet on a short rib, so uh, quite looking forward to seeing how it comes out. So we're just going to go over the top with that, and that. It's all seasoned, we're just going to leave that now on the side for about 15 minutes while the Big Green Egg Mini Max comes up to temperature. Okay, so now let's go over and we're going to set up the Big Green Egg Mini Max and we're going to be dialing it in at 110 degrees and we're also going to be using some cherry wood for some smoke. Okay, so we are at 110 degrees. We're where we want to be, so we're just going to chuck that straight on to the grill grate and close that lid back down we pop back in about an hour and see where we're at. Okay, so two hours on now. You can see we've got some really nice meat retraction here. Um, so we're exposing the bone. We're just gonna give it a little probe, see where we're at. So we're currently reading about 82, 83. So it's cooking really fast. Other end is reading 80. So we've got a nice bark forming on the top as well. Um, so probably gonna give this another hour or so. And I reckon this will be ready to come off and rest. And I tell you, it's smelling amazing. Okay, and we are, and you can see, we've got a really good bark on this. And it's uh, probing really nice. Just falling through like absolute butter with the thermo pen. So we are gonna get it off and have a look at it on the bench. Okay, so lovely bark on it. And now we're just going to leave this to rest for an hour wrapped in the Yeti. Okay, so it's now probing like absolute butter, so let's get it off. We're going to rest it now for about an hour, hour and a half in the Yeti, and we're going to make sure it's fully rested. So when we slice it, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Okay, so she's all rested. Look at the bark on it. That is seriously good. It looks like it's uh, cooked really nicely. So let's slice her open. Okay, so we're just gonna slice into this. Look at that. Now that is decent. And just look how nice that is. Oh. Now that was amazing. I mean, the fat on it was just like absolute butter in your mouth, which is so what you want when you're biting into these beef short ribs. And I absolutely love a short rib, and I think this is probably up there with the best of them that I've done. And the Big Green Egg held temperature absolutely perfectly, didn't really need any vent adjustment. Once you get those vents nailed and dialed in, it will just go on and on and on. And that is what I love about the Big Green Eggs. Okay, there you have it. Another really nice bit of meat cooked on the channel. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join me next time for another edition of Will's Grill Shack. Thanks for watching.